Right, this is the editing starter to catch you up with what happened because the first two and a half hours of this recording got corrupted because I had a power cut. Long story short, I'm on official vanilla rust. I found a decaying 2x2 that still had a TC and a box of guns and some other bits in it. So I took it over, slapped some doors on, was right outside bandit camp and started farming from there. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded anything, but if you do enjoy this, please consider dropping a sub and a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Nice one. Boxes and TC are starting to look good again, man. I might come and raid this a little bit later. It seems to be... The... Ooh. A little raid going on, is there? Is that that? Oh, it's just naked. Crunch, bruv. God, this is feeling like a good start. Oh, 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 no. oh. Of course the Raiders are still there. Well, I guess the sensible thing to do is to um, get some comps together and some scrap because we have none. Maybe we'll go run the road just for a little bit round here. Have a little look around the area and see what's going on. Obviously, we're right there. I found that base in the dark, so I haven't really had too much of a chance to explore the area yet and see what's happening around. Maybe we'll go and run the road a bit. I like the idea of start. Maybe trying to start with a rig. Rigs are always good for like a good amount of scrap and comps, aren't they? I think we'll try and run this up to barn that way and then come back down the other one. Finish up at Bandit again. Oh, what is that? Oh. Uh, I need to come back for this. Um, let me go and depot some stuff and I'll come back. Uh, this time I think we should probably take a gun with us. Oh, there's guns there. There's a TC gun. We can. Well, that's a little bit, a little bit of juice, and I haven't really got the comps I was looking for, but definitely better than nothing. And another sar, another sar doesn't hurt, does it? Having quite a lucky time so far. All right, we need to have an organise. Okay, a little bit more organised. So weapons box is looking like it's a solid start. I mean, there's a couple of these sars need. We're gonna need repairing, but other than that, they're pretty good. Uh, comps are looking very weak. Uh, tools looking all right. Clothing looking, uh, none of it's looking great, but PC's looking pretty cozy though. Um, but it's a pretty solid start, at least. So I'm gonna go and recycle this stuff. You know what, I'm gonna leave recyclable. Stuff to recycle in there. Let's go farm some sulfur. Some nodes around here, if I remember right. Far away, actually, saying that. Let's see if we can cop us an airdrop. Oh, there's a crate of water treatment as well, so at least if we don't get one, we can go and do the other. Unless this is someone that someone's called in. If this is one that someone's called in, I don't know what our chances are of getting it, to be honest, but we'll have a look anyway. The sun's going down as well. Doesn't look like someone's called it in. I suppose we're about to find out. See anyone? Okay. Do. 150 scrap, can't argue. Pump, can't argue. Saw, can't argue. It's not the greatest crate in the world, but Jesus, it's better than nothing. See if we can depot some of this and then go and do that crate of water treatment. 
get a, an Arctic Hazzy as well because we are freezing. Okay, so we're not looking bad. Um, let's switch that for one of them. And let's go see if we can do the watering great. Keep an eye on that airdrop as well. Right, I have to assume that there's someone here because the crate's been here for a while. Oh no, no one here. Well, no one started it at least. Another crate, is it? Did that just drop another crate? I need to go and start that one as well. Ten minutes for that one. Ten minutes for that one. Okay. Now we need to find somewhere to hide while these are counting down. Just get the fucking life out of me. Ooh. How did I not pick up any extra ammo with me? Jesus. Oh my god. I think what I'm going to have to do is get one and then stash my body somewhere and come back for the other one. Oh my god. Uh, right. Okay, C4. Um. Right, I need to go and stash my body somewhere. I need to depot this and then come back. I hate running around with this stuff on me, man. Nothing makes me more anxious. In C4, AK, on vanilla as well, do you know what I mean? It's not like this stuff's easy to come by. Right. That other crate's still there. Let's see if we can go back and get that. After that last crate, I'd be silly not to go back and try and get this one as well. Don't see anyone. Crate's still there. A closer look. Someone's raiding. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Should try and get it home now, I suppose. Is that a diesel? Another bolty, high quality comps. It's not. I mean, it's not great. I've seen much worse. But it's not like I was going to get two C4 AK crates in a row, was it? You know. Alright, let's do a little recycle run, and then we'll get some wood.
then honeycombed. Once through doors, you've got sheet metal, armoured, and then one, at least two doors, whichever way he goes, through doubles, which is fine. Can handle that. So we're looking pretty solid base build wise. Everything's honeycombed, armoured in here. So, I mean, vanilla. So I can't imagine people having enough rockets to get through armoured and all the honeycomb and everything at the moment. So I think that's going to keep us safe for the time being. Question is, what do we do next? Smalls down, larger, I can't, larger is too much effort by myself. Let's go check out this water treatment crate then. See what's going on over there. It was a success last time, so uh, let's hope it's the same again. been started or oh, it has been started we've got an eight or a six in its left and there is someone in there okay I need to find somewhere to be sneaky I don't know what gun he had though typically I don't do too well against the top tier guns you know here he goes Come on. How have I run out of ammo? Oh, I can't believe I ran out of ammo. What an amateur. What did I get him down to? Oh, 18. Oh my god. What an absolute idiot. Where am I here? I don't know how quick I can get. I can't get back quick enough. He'll have looted it and gone by then. Maybe we'll just go and run a rig instead. Oh my god, you scared the life out of me. Get some more ammo and then see if he's still there. Great, still there, so. What is he doing? I mean, did he bleed out? Did I get him? Or is he just waiting for people to counter him? Can't believe I had to go home because I ran out of ammo. That's like. Oh my god. But in the time it's taken me to run home, get this ammo, and run back, at least this far, the crate's still there. So what is he doing? Is he waiting for someone to counter it? Is he waiting for something else? I don't know. Like, is he looting other stuff? I don't know. Did he, did I get him and he bled out? I can't imagine he did. I only got him to 18. So what's, what's he doing? I, mean, I don't understand it. Why would he just loot and run? Unless he's just left rubbish stuff in the crate, I suppose. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was him, wasn't it? It has to be. Right, let's go and run a rig. Let's just go and run a rig. It'll be more fun. Right, so I've got a little bit of low grade for a boat. Got some ammo. Got, just need a kit. All right, let's do it. All right, there's got to be a boat around here somewhere. Got to be. Don't want players. Don't want any interactions with anything. Unless it's a boat, so let's just keep our heads down, run the beach, find us a boat. Jesus, that's the last thing I need is a raid right here. Don't see me, don't. Hey, listen. Hey, I have a fucking bow. Look, I'm dropping what? it in the fucking corner. Look, what? I have a bow, man. Give me oh, a break, please. Oh. Yeah, no worries. Oh, yeah, look, please, come here, come please. here, come here, come here, come here. Look, no, no, come here. There you go, Thank dog. You. No worries, sorry. man. No I'm worries, sorry. man. Laters. Got to be nice every now and then, you know? You bump into someone, they've only got a bow. you got to be kind to them. Sets a good precedent, you know? Gives you good karma for the rest of your wipe. At least in theory it does. So what I'll do is I'll put that bag, because I'm not running all the way back to the base. Put the bag there, 
I'm going to F1 in the safe zone. Then that way I can spawn in the bag, go and check to see if that is a boat over there without the risk of losing everything. And then if it's not, I can keep running. If it is, then I can go and get it. Does that make sense? I think it does. After all that, someone's just taken some oil. Jesus Christ. Where's cargo coming in from? Oh, cargo's coming in from right there. Okay, what I saw was not a boat. It was a piano. Brilliant. How far have I got to go to find a boat? This is insane. What do we have here? Any loot? a lot of charcoal. Okay, nothing really worth having, but and a crossbow and a hatchet, which is always handy. Oil being down is has really thrown me, if I'm honest, because that was what I was planning on. I can't find a boat to get to cargo, or any scrap. Going back to base, then coming back to fishing village is a long trip, which I could do, to be honest. I could just do it, can I? E1 scrap and start making our way back towards the fishing village via the road and hopefully we can get the rest of what we need there. Then maybe if we're lucky, by the time all that's happened, small will be back up. Eleven scrap away. Right, let's get back. I've got 125 for a boat. Let's just get back to the fishing village before something ridiculous happens. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Honestly. Well, let's just hope my bag's still it. Three meds to do small with is not going to be enough, is it? Right. Um, what am I going to do? I mean, there's two crates on cargo. Give that a go, I suppose. And if that doesn't work, just wait for small to come back up. Oh, there we go. What do we do? Cargo or small? I think small's better. Small's a better option than cargo, I think. It's got to be, in it? Oh, so I don't see any sign. I don't see anyone on. Any scientists on there, actually, which means there's probably already people on there. Oh, it's going to follow me all the way out, though, isn't it? This is not going to end well. I've got to get onto there before these lot even get close. to powering back down on the dock again. Rocket launch is kind of huge. Why has no one got any meds? No one on this fucking rig has got any meds. What is going on? Still no meds. Oh, one. One med stick. I think that might be this level clear. Oh shit, where did that come from?
Well, at least I'm not short on ammo. More mercies, I suppose. Shit. Shit, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up, get up! How many times can one person press the wrong button? Let's find out. Red room's open. Oh, blue room's open. What? Just when you think you've got them all, one more creeps out of nowhere. Right, that has to be all of them, surely. This is by far the most scuffed or run I've ever done in my life. Let's just hope at least one of these has some more meds on them. That might come in handy when the heavies come actually, as soon as I've got no meds. Right, one med stick for heavies. This is not going to go well. Unless they're glitched. If they're glitched, then it's perfect. But they're not. Three. Heavy bleeding. Not good. Why is one? Why is it when they aggro? What when you aggro them? They're not coming towards me. They just all stood still. Oh, he's gone in the room. Right, one left. Is he in the room as well? Yes. Is that all of them? I think it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's all of them. Oh, thank God. Now let's pray that there's some meths knocking around somewhere. Because I am as close to dead as there we go. As I could possibly be. Well that's the most scuffed oil run I've ever done. Five and a bit minutes. Uh right, so what we're we gonna get rid of? Pretty slow. We'll see what's in the crate first. There might not be a lot worth keeping. And I've still got to get home. <laughs> That's going to be the real challenge, I think. Frames, hello. What is going on? 14 FPS. Give me something good. Uh, not the best. Smart switch, really? Why is my FPS so bad? I don't understand why my frames have dropped to like 14. What is going on? I don't know what to do next though. Well, I mean, if it stays at 14, fucking 17 FPS. Not a lot I can do, really. Alright, I'm going to disconnect, I think, and then reconnect when I get here. Just to see if that makes any difference. Because like this, this, like this, is unplayable. I don't understand why it's dropped so much. Disconnect and reconnect and see if that makes any difference. So, I don't understand what's going on here. That doesn't make any sense to me. Right, I'm going to wait for my kettle to finish boiling. And then, I'm going to make the arduous run to bandit. Maybe we'll wait for Heli to go as well. That seems like a sensible thing to do. Right, let's do it. Let's try and make it home. I don't for a second think I'm going to be able to. But we're going to try. Right, the road is essentially halfway. 
Come on, nearly there. You can see the bandit camp is right there. Oh, safe zone. There we go. Part one of a two part mission home is complete. Now all I've got to do is recycle and get it back in the base. This should give me enough to get, well, the best part of a tier three, I'd imagine. 450 scrap, not bad. 125 high qual. We're looking pretty, uh, looking pretty good. Made it all the way back. Right. Um, tools wise, I don't really have anything. Thousand six yards. We're getting there. Fully armored core. Feels pretty good. Get rid of some of this crap. Uh, maybe have a little farm up while we're out as well. Let's go and recycle this shite. Fall down the hill, fall down the hill. It would have fallen down, it would have fallen down here. Yeah, it wouldn't have rolled this far, would it? There it is. Idiot, didn't go, you can get down to it. That's hilarious. Right. Let's try and do this water treatment crate. Let's go back. Dude, help me up, man. Help me up. Come on. That's three times, man. you got to help me up at least once. Thanks, man. You want to give me anything back, or...? Oh, he took all the fucking bullets out of it. I believe I let him creep up behind me. Amateur hour. We retained the python at least. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Honestly. Oh, God, door campers. A door camp. Is there anything worse than people door camping, really? So smalls up and larges up. Maybe I could get. Maybe I could get a mini and go to large. It's too much loot on large for one person, though. 
have one more run on some more Lost Bios, can't we? Take a Tommy and a Hazzy. No Tommy Hazzy Smoil. Sounds like a swell time, doesn't it? This bottom fishing village is where I left the boat. I'm hoping it's still there. If it's not, then I've got scrap to buy another one. When in doubt, just zip line it. Safest way at the moment, I think, if you're solo. Boat's still there. Yes, it is. Let's just hope there's no one there. Oh, come on. How did I not bring enough low grade on me? This is where I get all the way out here to find someone's already beat me to it. I want to say that. There's a scientist still on the top. Why didn't I can get this first one out of the way? I should be alright. I was hoping there was going to be another boat here to make it easy to get off, but. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. All of them? I don't like what they've done to these heavies. They used to used to be able to just group them all up underneath here and just smash through them and now I don't know how many I've killed. I think that's two. Three. Four. <laughs> of course I've only got two bullets left as well. Where are the other ones going to be though? I don't know what to do. What I need is one of them to have a gun on them. That's what I really need. I think have those other ones gone down. I need to just try and loot that one at the top end up there. Hope he's either got bullets or a gun on him. Shit. I'm dead. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, there's two of them. So the last two are right there. Now, if I try and take them out and I fail, what am I going to do? Band it for a mini, I suppose, isn't it? And then come back. I didn't want to spend all this scrap on a mini, but I don't really want to lose all that stuff either. Oh, what? It hasn't reset, surely. Is it re. It has. Oh my god. That's not fair. Are they heavies running up the thing as well? Yeah. Right, well. Good job I didn't come back with the AK, but we're going to have to try and Hail Mary this. sake how is that right that it just resets like that oh that's not right I don't want to keep endlessly going back but I kind of feel like I have to I don't even care about the crate anymore I just want to like just even more than anything just to recover that fucking mini but this game can be brutal when it wants to be man now I'm going back for a third time with no meds using the last of my low grade just none of this seems sensible, you know? Nothing sensible while playing Rust in the first place, so. Ooh. Right. If this one fails. For whatever reason, I'm done. Is that heavy? Yep. Fuck. 
I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna get close to finishing this, am I? Two bandages left, 33 HP, there's no way. We're getting there. Everything about this game. How can one person consistently fail so fucking much? Let's do a little comps run to dome and calm down. This game's so much sometimes. Come on, give me something. Oh. Standard. Oh, furnace is handy. Not the greatest crates in the world, though. Can I hear someone? Did there's someone here? Where are you? Come on. Oh fuck. Is he gonna come back up or did he just run? I think he ran. Oh shit, he's fighting someone else. Or someone else is fighting him. I should get out of here really. Move. Let's try and get out of here without being seen. Well, not being door camped. That's a bonus. We made it home. Right, this train yard crates have been a bit up and down. Is there something down there? Yeah, there he is. Go on, you start it. Can you go and hang out over there? Let's, uh. I don't know why I did that. It's not like I was going to kill him from here, but we move on. I think I might just camp on this wall and try and get him when he comes out for it, you know? Just hope he can't see me over the top of the wall. <gasps> there it goes. Come on, come on. Where is he? Here he is. Oh, I hope this is the right time. Got him. Got him. C4. Oh my word. Right. Um, okay. He's going to be furious. He's just sat and waited for 15 minutes for that crate, and I can't be on the wall and stole everything. God, he's going to be furious. I'm not normally one for camping things like that, but it's solo vanilla rust, you know? You got to do what you got to do. Managed to get it home without any issues as well. God, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Should probably upgrade some stuff before I get off as well, just to make sure that the offline raid's that little bit harder. I'm hoping that with everything outside being metal now, that it's going to make it too tricky to, to raid through the walls, like boom-wise. Because everything's armoured inside of this as well, so... I just have to hope that hopefully no one decides to raid me, especially not through doors. I should, oh, I should probably do the roof as well, shouldn't I? Yeah. I think, I think we're going to be secure enough, but who knows? There is an armored door down there as well, so hopefully that'll be enough to put people off, but you never know. Two sheet doors, one armoured, and two garage doors to get to TC should be enough, though, to protect me. One thing I wanted to do was raid this before I get off, because it's got no TC in it anymore, because that was in there, and it's only got a wooden roof, so... Right, here we go. Let's see what it's got. Oh, boxes, that's a good sign. Oh, empty boxes is not a good sign. Uh, oh, uh, okay, 1600 sulfur, 96 ground. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the sulfur makes it worthwhile. 
was not all bad. And the charcoal's coming along nicely, as is the sulfur. Right, let's get nice and cosy. Hope that no one raids us overnight and that everything's still here tomorrow. Oh, of course, of course I got offline. Of course I did. Let's have a look. Well, that's what bags are still here, so. Let's see. Let's see what the damage is. Did they? That's my door, or is it what? Oh no, it's their door. Ah, oh, right, so they've gone through doors. Jesus. Never mind. I mean, it is what it is. We had a good first day. Had some good PvP. Got that crate. Camped that crate. Had a terrible time on rig, but it is what it is. You move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop a sub and a like. And I'll see you on the next one.